So today, a developer from DICE has given us some pretty good news, which in my opinion, is already making Battlefield 2018 out to be a better game. If you remember, back in November of last year, DICE released Star Wars Battlefront 2, which was a great game overall, but had one major problem, which was microtransactions, which caused a lot of public outcry among the player base and cost EA a lot of money, leading to DICE removing the microtransactions until a later date. Well, fortunately today, Patrick Sutherland tweeted out this. For games that come next, players have made it very clear that we can't afford to make similar mistakes we did for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and we won't. Well, what exactly does this mean? In other words, this means we know we messed up with microtransactions, so no more microtransactions, which is certainly a great thing to hear, as game developers these days are sometimes getting a little bit too carried away with extra DLC and microtransactions for their titles, so hearing that this won't be the case for Battlefield 2018 is definitely very reassuring. But DICE are going to have to make money off something other than game sales alone, so what will DICE do for Battlefield 2018? Well, in my opinion, and I think this is probably the best way to do things, is release all the DLC for free, but premium members get it a month early, along with other bonus cosmetic items, premium events, and things like that. But maybe half the price, so have it maybe 25 to 30 euro around that mark. This would be a great idea, as it's not exactly pay to win, and everybody gets the content, but the premium players get it early on. So everything is quite fair. Personally, I really just don't see much wrong with this system, but DICE are more than likely going to have some sort of plan in place for Battlefield 2018 by now. One possible way DICE could do things, but it wouldn't be very popular among the community whatsoever, would be to offer soldier and weapon skin packs for maybe 2 or 3 euros each. It's a good way for DICE to make money as it's not pay to win, so it really doesn't make any difference to the gameplay whatsoever, but it's mostly a bad thing because we should really be able to unlock these new weapon and soldier skins in through game missions and assignments instead of wasting our real life hard earned money on in-game cosmetics. If DICE did this, this would be a huge step backwards, as DICE already knows they desperately need to improve things customization-wise in their next Battlefield title. But let me know what you guys would like to see DICE do this time around. Personally, I can't wait to see what they're going to implement, as long as it's not something totally overkill. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, it is always appreciated, and click that bell and subscribe icon, so you can stay up to date with all of the Battlefield 2018 news and updates. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you're having an awesome day, and I will see you in the next Battlefield video.